Hey friends, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna show you how to protect this, yep, glass window from getting rattled around on the back of these panels back here. I can't imagine trying to fix that and get it out of the canvas okay and trying to get it back and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you a really simple way to fix it. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> so protecting this window is a simple fix. It's a little rubber stopper kind of thing. And it comes with instructions, which in there it shows about, you know, page 266 in your Ford Service Bulletin. So we're going to take it straight from there. So the book I'm going to show you today is from 1957. So I'm definitely going to need some spectacles because the writing is so tiny. It's called a Monterey Ford Service Bulletin Complete. It's got so much stuff in there. If you don't have yourself a copy, even a modern day copy, you need one. Just like the instructions said on page 266, it shows you a very nice diagram, just like on the instructions for the window bumpers. And then it gives you an explanation of how to install them. Now in my case, someone has already done it at one time. I don't know what these are all about. Um, don't know what they're even made out of. It almost feels like either a very hard plastic. I don't know that it's a metal or not. I'm not even sure what tool to use to get these out, but I'm gonna guess since they're moving around pretty good, except for a couple of them, I might have to break the seal because whoever last painted this, they painted right over these and everything. So a couple are loose, a couple will have to break free, but this is what they look like underneath. Now you're seeing this for the first time with me. Okay, what does it look like? I have no idea what those things are underneath. Um, like a rubber substance and they're kind of long, probably about almost an inch long. I have a feeling that these kind of just screw right into them. I'm gonna try twisting and see if it's just screwed in. Okay, it's pretty hard to do. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh. So, I guess possibly this might be a pop-in type. Um, I did not know that they made that type. And I don't even know if it really belongs to a Model A, but this is what was in there, which means there is a much bigger hole than what I need for the stoppers that we got. I mean, it screws right in here like that, but I'm gonna guess that it'll go up right through the hole. So I guess I'm gonna need a washer now on the back side to be able to make it stay. It's kind of a bummer. I was hoping this was two different pieces. I thought maybe this screwed into the round part. I thought maybe that was some kind of a washer that that went into. Since it has the car color on it, it's time to go see if I have a washer that will work for this. I sure hope so. I don't want to take another trip to the store. So fortunately, I have an awesome husband named Paul Shin, and he went to the store for me. In the meantime, we had lunch, and the weather's changed a bit. Hope it doesn't rain on us, so let's hurry up and get this done. When I shared my dilemma with Paul, showed him that I had a much bigger hole than it should have had and I needed some washers, he's like, hold on, I've got a great idea. Because what happens is when you put this little thing here, see all around it? It's not the, quite the right diameter to cover all that. I mean, none of them really are. It shows like a little bit around each outer edge but I wanted to get it to where it hides that. So his idea was get a little round washer type thing for the top, plug that little hole, put that on the top of it, and it'll seal really nice. It doesn't show as much around the edges, no worse than the others, and it'll protect it a lot from any moisture getting inside. So what we got here, <clears throat> we got the metal washer for underneath, got the screw that it came with. So it's basically going to be a screw going through the washer, which will be underneath. This will be going through the hole. It'll go up into it and up into this one and screw into that top one. So that's basically how it's gonna be. Uh-oh, just like I thought. It's starting to rain, oh my God. Okay, break time. Holy mackerels. It came down so quickly. It's raining pretty darn good. I just had a feeling. Wow. I 
got Rhody out of the weather just in time. Well, at least I got Rhody in and I'm just gonna continue showing you while we're inside the toy box. Well, as you can see, I have a visitor. Hi, Dylan. Okay, we're gonna slip that into the hole. <laughs> no, it's not for you. Paul had to cut these down a little bit because they were just a little too long, which is fine. I'm gonna take this with the washer already installed. I'll leave that alone. Okay. Ah! Don't bite. You little turkey butt. I can't concentrate. Stop it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm making some progress. No thanks to Dylan. Okay, I think it is <laughs> okay to bring Grody out here now. I have now broken off the bottom one to this one right here using this because it is getting much harder to get them off so I'm going to use this also to get this one off because this was one of the ones that was not spinning. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, and it took a little bit of paint with it. Oh, that just sucks. Uh, why do people do the things they do? Yep, you can tell, I mean, they painted right over it onto the car and that just, that just sucks. Okay, time for the next one. Unscrew that. You get a clearer view this time since the cat isn't parading himself all over the place. So we're gonna put this washer here. I'm gonna go underneath. Get to that hole. Alright. Slide that little guy over there. Okay, good enough. Now we'll take that little thing there. Screw it in. Hold that with the other finger. And screw that for as far as it can get it. Until I just can't hold the screw anymore, which is starting to happen. Try to line up that screw. Kind of hard when you can't see what you're doing down there. Okay. Hold that still. just so it stays in place nicely. Okay, so something I totally did not expect. I don't know where the square part went, but it broke right off the top, which leaving this, I don't know, washer type of thing. Got the underside out. Um, so now I gotta very carefully get this to unstick from the paint without chipping the paint further. Let's see, maybe I can use this on the edge. So that way at least it doesn't get my paint. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Unless you're desperate like me. Ah, there we go. I broke the seal. All right. Just about. Ah. It's like no matter how careful I'm being, it's still managing to take a little bit of the paint. I'm just going to put my nail right under the edge so it doesn't take any more. Twist it a little bit. I'm going to go underneath and uh, give it a little help with my screwdriver. Come on, baby, get out of there. Right under there. There we go. Ugh. Oh, I hate these so much. Okay, now my window will be protected from the metal back. Especially these crazy things that were back there. Every time we drove with the top down, all I heard was a cookity clack on top of these with the window and it really made us nervous. So now these little rubbery things be much better, protect them. I hope this video was really educational and useful to you. If you have a roaster or any kind of car where the top comes down, these are great ways to fix the issue of protecting the window. So if you like this video, please do me a favor and subscribe if you haven't already. And like the video, give me some thumbs up. It'll help to spread my channel everywhere and help some more people like you. And put the little bell on and that'll show you whenever I post new stuff. So I hope that you guys have a fantastic week. I've got a whole lot more on Rody to show you. Got some really great 
simple easy fixes and then I've got some more complicated fixes so I can't wait to share all of those with you. Have a fantastic week. God bless you. I love you.